Hello, my name is Kat Torres, and today I am joined by the four All-Americans of the 2014 Hillsdale College women's cross-country team who helped the Chargers to a second-place finish at the Division II National Championships in November. Joining me today to my left are juniors Christina Gallett and Emily Orn, and to my right, um, sophomore em Molly Orn and freshman Hannah McIntyre. Ladies, welcome. The first series of questions are for the group. What were your expectations heading into the national championships, and can you discuss how you prepared as a team to compete at that level? Um, well, going in, we really wanted to be top four because that's a podium team, so we all wanted the little trophies. And but I don't. We were seated fifth going in, so I'm not sure that we really. We I think we expected to kind of slide into fourth place, but we definitely didn't expect to be top two because they had so much hype about Grand Valley and Adam State that. Even Christine and I were talking about it, that we figured it would just be a battle of between the two of them, and we would just kind of run along with them. But Yeah, and the other cool thing, too, about this season was that um, just like in the beginning during cross-country camp in the summer, we um, all talked about our goals around the fire, and um, and like most of us were like wanting top ten at nationals and maybe top four and stuff, so like none of us like expected even getting like close to, se to that, to second place or first. Mm -hmm. I would say then at the end of the season more, mm -hmm. we all kind of like gained more confidence. We're like, oh yeah, we're yeah. going to be top four easy, yeah. which was good. Yeah, we did a lot of running. <laughs> 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 and we ran at the course that Nationals was at. We ran yeah. one of our first few meets there, so we knew the course, so that was good. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, definitely. Okay, so three of you were on a team um, in 2013 that also qualified for NCAAs. Um, so what about that experience helped you guys prepare for this year's um, meet? I think just competing at a high level, um, just like seeing what that kind of race is like and like getting a feel for, I don't know, just like running at nationals. And I think it helped us to like be more confident in that we don't have to, like last year we just kind of barely made it yeah. to nationals and this year we like owned and we're like, we're going to make it to nationals. So yeah. it was nice to like be able to plan on it instead of just like guessing like last year, I guess. Mm -hmm. So that was good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as you guys were running the day of the meet, how were you, how aware were you of who was around you at the time, like where your teammates were and how did that help you in your individual race? <laughs> like knowing where they were or not knowing. Well, Christina and I <laughs> usually start races out together. Like, we usually run together most of the time. And from the start, she was nowhere <laughs> near me. Because she was, she like, was behind me. She was way back. And I didn't really realize it at first because there was just so many people. But by the time I reached the mile, I started, like, looking around. I was like, where is Christina? <laughs> and then a little bit after the mile, she came up on my right side. And that really helped yeah. because I was not having a good race at all. And... Just having her there, like, definitely helped a ton because I was, like, I feel like I might have been starting to give up for a little bit, and then just seeing her go, it was, like, and we ran together for, like, a ton yeah. of the race, which was, it helped me yeah. a lot. It made me, like, okay, it's, we can do this. <laughs> I know that running with Emily all season has helped a lot c just because, like, just even in workouts, it just makes things more comfortable and stuff, and it's good to have, like, a teammate there who, mm -hmm. like, like you're gunning for and they're gunning for you and stuff and just like making moves and stuff it makes things so much easier mm -hmm. yeah and it's nice for like I don't know probably for you and me because we do our workouts with them and we run like the same paces we only get like at the end maybe they'll run a little bit faster so it's nice for like the confidence in the race too yeah to be able to see them and be like oh yeah I can run with them like I ran with them all season yeah there was a moment in the middle of the race. <clears throat> I didn't know where people were. And then I saw you were in front of me, so I was like, went and got you. <laughs> <laughs> we were like running together for a while, and that was really nice. Um, and then at the very end of the race, we were like finishing. And it was kind of brutal. Um, and obviously, it's the end of the race, so you're really tired. And so I'm just trying to kind of pull out this last little bit. And then all of a sudden, Molly comes <laughs> shooting by. I was like so I don't know tired. Where it came from. <laughs> Molly comes shooting by. I was like, oh my gosh, Hannah, you can do this. So I like pulled this, and that like saved yeah, that saved the two. race. Yeah, like that's why it we was. Got second. Yeah, yeah. is because Molly like shot past, and I was like, and it was a really good thing too because. I think going into nationals, you, it's really, or to any meet really, it's really easy to get inside your head and kind of just think it in terms of it, um, think of it in terms of your race alone, just to have a really individual mindset. Um, 
and to be like, well, I have to do this, and I have to do this. And then at that moment during the race, at the very end, it made me realize that, like, we're all in it together. Like, we're on a team, and even if you're not feeling um, 100%, or if you kind of feel yourself slipping a little bit, like, your team always has your back. So mm -hmm. that was a really great thing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's great. <laughs> um, what were the conditions like the day of the meet, and how did you have to adjust to um, still perform <coughs> at a level that you were expecting <coughs> according to those conditions? Well, <laughs> the course was <laughs> short, first of all, because I'm not sure why they took a section out because it was too muddy, but the entire <laughs> the course, was too, the the course so was too muddy. muddy. <laughs> like, there was a few parts where you're on a limestone path, and that wasn't that muddy, but that was like maybe like 200 yards total, yeah. like if that. So it was just basically running in one big mud pit, and like, I don't know, we put in half inch spikes. It that was, was basically yeah. all you needed. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, there's nothing. You would just, you just like have to slide around. Yeah, you have to know that everyone else does it. Yeah. Too. yeah. And it, yeah. Had, it had been raining all week, too, so it was like, pr it was literally like as bad as it could be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the guys ran before us, so yeah. like the course. Yeah. I guess they run on the course twice. Yeah. They yeah. Probably, yeah. They probably messed it yeah. up yeah. then. Yeah. yeah. They said the first really lap bad. for them wasn't that bad, and then the second lap it got worse, and then it was just like. Yeah. It was horrible. <laughs> what was it, it when Murtha finished? He Murtha, the senior on the senior boy on the team, he has a beard, <laughs> and um, I was laughing because before we were starting, we asked him, and we were like, "Do you have any advice, like for the course or whatever?" And he was like, "Try to learn. Don't worry about the mud." <laughs> and he like had mud in his beard. <laughs> and everything, like it was everywhere, and I was like. Okay. Yeah, you could <laughs> see the guys coming <laughs> off and everybody was just, just like looking like miserable. Like, oh, no. <laughs> Did it affect you mentally at all? It I mean, you knew, you knew everybody was running through the same course. Yeah, and it was, I think that's what helped. It. Yeah. it was hard because, like, I feel like I was watching, I was, like, a little bit behind Christina, watching her go through the mud so easily. Like, she made it, like, so easy, and then it felt so hard for me. So, like, <laughs> that was, like, that affected me a little bit mentally, but everyone else was going through it, so... I yeah, think for me it helped a lot like um, the week two weeks before we had regionals no, and like it w had been not as muddy but it had been a little bit yeah. muddy and stuff so I like kind of was thinking um, in the terms of that like okay this is how I get around the mud and stuff. So. Okay. Can each of you describe your emotions when you found out that you got second when you were going into the season thinking you were just going to slide by and get into nationals? I was so excited. <laughs> but, like, when we were running, because Coach Joe, I don't know if he yelled this to you guys, but yeah. I heard him yell, we're at second. And yeah. I was like, wait, like, we're at it right now? <laughs> or, like, I have to pass some people, and then we're going to be second? So I was really, I don't yeah. know, it was really yeah. cool to get so second. So it wasn't, it wasn't like, a that, total, you know, yeah. Surprise. But, but I mean, it was, like, a total surprise. Yeah, in the race, the race. Yeah, because there's, like, check marks in the race, like, when you go over mats, the, like, score it live so you can see where everyone is. Shoes. Yeah, so... Uh, it was a little bit before the two mile when Christina and I were together. Coach, our coach yelled at us that we were in second, and I was like, "I didn't oh, believe really? him." <laughs> I, I thought he was just saying it to try and like pump us up. And then we like rounded a corner, and somebody, I think one of our teammates' dad, yelled at us that we were gonna make history. And I was like, "But wow. are we?" <laughs> I, was like, no. I didn't know if it was for real or not. And then afterwards, when they were like, our coaches and my dad had their phones out updating it because they were scoring as people came in. And, like, uh, the whole time we were second, and we were just, like, crossing our fingers at, like, when the last team got scored, because we were second by three points, so yeah. it was, like, really, it close. really close. And I, I was, yeah, it was, like, really exciting. And I remember standing next to Coach Town when he <laughs> found out, and he was, like, <laughs> choking up, and he's, like, we, we got second. <laughs> I was, like, oh, my yeah. gosh. <laughs> So yeah, Coach Town was like bawling, <laughs> <laughs> we and happy. he like grabbed oh. me and gave me a huge hug and was like, "I'll give you whatever you want, Gallon." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Keep that in mind." <laughs> 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 That's too funny. funny. Um, so individually, um, I'll start with Hannah. Um, having to experience this li as a freshman, how do you hope to put it into use in the future with three more years of cross country ahead of you? Well, it's certainly kind of a little bit difficult because it's like you have such, you had like, you know, such a great season at first and then it's going to, you'll have that expectation um, going in. I mean, no one, it, completely internally, it's not like people are like, oh, you have to get her all American again or, or like do this <laughs> again. So it's um, internal. But I think it, I mean, obviously it's a good thing. Um, I don't know. In high school, I struggled a lot with kind of 
like believing in your in myself and like really believing firmly that um, that you belong in whatever group you're running in or that you can run at the front. And although I'm not like quite at that level here, it just gives it helps with confidence. So I'll just kind of keep remembering this experience moving forward. Mm -hmm. Have a title to your name, and so you can just remember that if you're feeling <laughs> like you're not going to make it or something like that. That's like, good. <laughs> but I'm an all American. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so for Molly, um, you seem to improve gradually over the season, and so what would you say was the reason for that improvement? Um, I think a lot in the middle. I just gained a lot of more confidence in myself. Like, oh, I can, I don't know. At first, I was kind of doubting whether I was even going to be like that fast or mm -hmm. whatever, but yeah, as the season progressed in the workouts, I start to started to like get my feet under me and like actually feel like I wasn't just dying every workout and I was actually like <laughs> improving. So that helped a lot. It's mm -hmm. probably why I ran faster, <laughs> I would guess. <laughs> and the <Confidence> definitely <laughs> yeah. helps with that. Well, workouts <laughs> helped. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Okay, so for Emily, prior to this cross-country cross season, You've been named All-American both in indoor and outdoor track. So what would you say competing at the national level in those sports, or in, the, in those events, um, helped you in preparation and performance for this year's meet? Um, well, definitely just, like, the racing at a higher level because you can, like, talk about it all day, but it's completely different when you finally go to run there. So being able to compete at that higher level and succeeding really, like, helped me in the cross-country season because that – Last year, my cross-country race wasn't that great at nationals, and my freshman year at nationals, I wasn't that great. And so, like, that was kind of, like, puts doubts in your mind. But once you, like, go out there and, like, do really well two times in a row, it was like, okay, I am that fast, and I can go show it to everyone, even though I'm not on a track. I'm, and because I ran against um, a lot of the same girls on the track that I was running against in the cross-country meet, and knowing that I've beaten them on the track – makes me a lot more confident that I can also beat them on a cross-country course. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. for Christina, um, was the national championship the best race of your life, would you say? And um, what factors went into your performance particularly? Well, considering the conditions, it I definitely, <laughs> I ran like a few minutes slower than my PR. Um, but like mentally and I don't know, just like the way that I handled um, the race, like, I was um, pretty, like, happy with um, just, like, keeping focused and, like, keeping my eyes up, keep, like, continuing to pass people and, like, I don't know, picking my way through the mud and stuff. So, like, definitely, and just, like, the way that I handled the conditions, I, I feel like that definitely um, contributed to, to my success. Mm -hmm. Definitely. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for joining me today and sharing this amazing experience that you have been so lucky to have had. And um, we wish you the best of luck in your upcoming indoor track season. And we thank you for watching this interview with us with our four 2014 All-Americans in the Women Cross Country. And we'll see you again soon.